everybody. How you doing today? Woo so I am actually doing two lives at one time. I am on Facebook Live and I am doing my first IG Live. So I've got two of y'all going at the same time and I'm super excited about doing this. Um, first time I've ever done IG Live. So Facebook Live is my, um, I do this every week. So kind of want to incorporate it into my IG and see how this does. So this is going to be awesome. And so today, uh, I, how do I start this? You guys are awesome. So thank you for joining me. Number one, yay. Number two, we are talking about self-love, uh, getting rid of your negative self-talk. And I love uh, our CEO and owner of Best Life Creation Society came up, helped me come up with this title for my podcast this week called, Who Do You Think You're Talking To? <laughs> so that is what this is about. Is like, really, who do you think you're talking to? Uh, we all, myself included, I, like I've done a lot of personal development over the last seven years. And before that, I really had no idea what personal development was. Uh, I, my biggest goal in life was, you know, get through the week and hey there, uh, get through the week and hopefully get to party that weekend. So that's what we did on a regular basis. And that's when it led me into my, the darkest part of my depression. And so coming out of the, my depression, I started, I started doing personal development. Like I became a personal trainer and by going through the personal trainer stuff and I cannot see any comments at all on my Facebook. So uh, I don't know what's going on with that. So I see people are there. Ooh, I see people are there I'm trying to do too many things at one time. All right. So let me do this. I think that'd be better. So negative self-talk will manifest itself in sickness. Negative self-talk will manifest itself in uh, having a bad day at the office. Negative self-talk will manifest bad people in your life. I don't want to say bad. Bad is probably too strong a word. Well, manifest negative people in your life. So look at the people around you. Are they negative all the time? Uh, are your coworkers just always having this negative Nelly party? Well, chances are you're probably putting out that vibration because so, whatever you put out is what you get back. And I'm not saying this to beat anybody up. So think about this. Would you have, would you allow your children to tell themselves, I'm not lovable, or I'm fat, or I'm ugly, or I'm not worthy, or nobody loves me, and play this big pity party. Would you allow somebody else to talk to your children that way? No. Would you allow somebody to talk to you that way? Say, oh, by the way, you're fat. Why? I don't know why you're even wearing that. You shouldn't be wearing that. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. Would you allow somebody in your life to talk to you that way? Absolutely not. I venture to guess, hell no. Like, that's where those words would start coming out of your mouth. Like, who do you think you're talking to? Like, you're not going to let somebody talk to you that way. You're damn sure not going to let somebody talk to your children that way. So how many of you drop some hearts and emojis <laughs> down into the, it, it, down into your, like, hit the little heart button. If you're watching this live, hit the little heart button. Because I cannot see any comments on my Facebook. Um, but Drop some hearts or some emojis are in there and let me know, do you have negative self-talk on a regular basis? Like, do you hear yourself, like, especially for us women, I can't really talk about the men. I'm not a guy, obviously. So I can't talk about how the guys feel, but do you look in the mirror and do you pick apart those little lines right there? Or, you know, are you looking at your face to see how fat your face is? Or are you looking at your love handles? Or are you looking at how your clothes are fitting? Are you doing any of these things and just really beating yourself up on a regular basis? Well, who are you talking to? Like, stop that. That stuff generates sickness inside your body. And that once it gets going, you have all of this momentum that's attached to it. And you're going, this and this and this and this sucks and this sucks and this sucks and now all these people are joining you in that same conversation like just to give you an idea so when i went through my depression 
Like I, I had a bottle of sleeping pills sitting on the nightstand. Like I was having an argument with myself. We were having a stare down. Is this going to happen or is this not going to happen? Well, you know, thank God somebody called me and talked me out of it. He had no idea how bad that day was going to be, but I am so thankful that I'm here today. But the negative self-talk, all the voices in my head, the, the sleeping was the only time I didn't hear those voices. So that was going to be my solution. Well, thank God I have another solution now, but those voices were my own. Like my kids were mad at me. They weren't talking to me. I couldn't see my grandkids. I wasn't in a relationship. I had convinced myself that I was not lovable. Nobody was ever going to love me again. And so by doing that, all of those voices got really, really loud in my head and I could not drown them out. And I didn't like what they were saying. I told myself that I was fat. I told myself that I was ugly. I hated the life that I had created for myself and I was ready for it all to end. Like that's just as real and as deep as it can get. Now, would I, do I have those negative thoughts now? I don't have negative thoughts like that. I do have negative thoughts occasionally and I catch them I catch them fast enough where they get out as fast as they came in, which is great. I'm very thankful for that. But that took practice and that took focus and that took work. Can it be done? Absolutely. I am the poster child for getting it done. Um, and like if my daughter was on here, she would tell you, I don't even allow her to talk like that. I was like, like, stop it. Like, I don't let my kids talk to themselves that way. I will, you know, and I get accused all the time. Tammy, will you stop being a life coach? No, I will not stop being a life coach. Will you stop telling me to talk like that? No, I will not stop talking, telling you to stop talking like that because your subconscious does not, let me repeat this. I want you to hear this, pay attention. I'm going to look right in the, I'm looking right in the camera. Your subconscious does not know the difference between a truth or a lie. It knows what you tell it. So tell it something positive, tell it something awesome, tell it something amazing, and stop all that BS about I'm not this and I'm not that and I'm not this. You are way too freaking smart to be standing in your own way, man. Get the hell up, get out of your own head, find somebody to help you get where you need to go. Like, you don't have to do it alone. You know what I mean? Like. When I was in my depression, I didn't have a whole lot of people to help feed me that positivity. My circle of friends sucked. I had my best friend, Michelle. She was amazing. She threw buckets of water on the seeds when the manager of the gym said, hey, you could be a personal trainer here. You would be really great at that. We have a built-in clientele for you. Why don't you join us? So she was awesome in helping cultivate that positivity so that I could get to that next level. Sometimes we all don't have that, that circle of friends. And you have to know that when you start doing personal development and you start growing into the person that you want and need to be to get to the next level, your circle of friends is probably going to change. And you have to be okay with that. You know what I mean? And it's not that those old friends are not going to be your friends. They're going to be your friends forever. Their energy lasts forever. But it just means that you're probably not going to hang out because their vibration does not match your vibration. And you're going to, they're going to have to come up here to meet you. They're not going to be able to be down here and, and talk to you because the conversation is not going to be the same. The conversation is not going to be comfortable for either of you. You're either going to be talking above their head or they're going to be talking so negative. You're just like, oh, like, I, like, I can't, I can't do that right now. You know what I mean? If you're feeding them so much positivity and they're batting everything down with something negative, you know what? Let them go do their thing. You go do your thing and you can check back in on them later and you can throw them a couple of seeds, throw some water on it. And, and you're going to slowly bring them to you to get them to the level that they need to be. But sometimes it's not going to be easy for that transition to happen. Sometimes they just need to sit back and watch you be the new version of you. Sometimes they just need to sit back and watch you grow and see how you changed your life. By doing that, you are inspiring them. By that, you are motivating them. By that, you are giving them clues. You're leaving breadcrumbs for them to follow and show them that, that it's possible. They saw where you were. 
They saw where you were and now they've seen you grow. Now they see who you are now. They've seen what you've done to become a success. They've seen what you've done to become this brand new you. So if you want to be a brand new you, you have to make a decision. Yeah, there's so much power in decision. And I say that in every freaking broadcast. There is power in decision. People say, oh, well, change is hard. Change is not freaking hard. Freaking stop saying that. The decision to change is hard. I'm going to say that again. Change is not hard. Change happens every single day, whether you acknowledge it or not. It's the decision to change that is hard because you realize that when you change, things change. A lot of times it is the fear of the unknown that keeps you from going forward. Punch fear in the face, man. Like fear and excitement are kissing cousins. All right. Fear and excitement are kissing cousins. If you think about it, the feeling that you feel in your stomach when you feel excited is really close to the same feeling that you feel in your stomach when you feel that fear. There's no such thing as fear unless it's imminent danger. That's real fear. That's real fear. Maybe what you're feeling is maybe some uncertainty because you don't know the how to get to where it is that you want to go. That's not fear. That's uncertainty. That's two different emotions. And you've got to register. Yes. <laughs> hey, Bobby, how are you? Um, you've got to register what the difference between fear and uncertainty is. Okay. Fear has several different acronyms you know face everything and rise or fear everything and run well i don't know about you but i'm not a runner so screw you and have a nice day i ain't running nothing so if i'm running there's one of two two things happening i'm either chasing you and you damn well better be able to outrun me because i hate to run and if i catch you oh you're gonna pay dearly <laughs> like i'm going to beat you down <laughs> like, that's just real and if i'm running from something that means that something has scared the hell out of me and i ain't too much scared of shit so you need to be running too so that's the only two options for me. Um, and if there's something that really scares me and my kids or my family or my loved ones, I'm punching it in the face, just like my, so um, like I said, I'm doing IG live and I'm also doing Facebook live at the same time. So on my IG live, my um, former boss friend, and he is still my friend, but he's my former boss and mentor, uh, Bobby Fournier. He is uh, on my IG live and he's like, you know, punch it in the balls and, and go get it. So like, I love him. He is awesome. And, you know, he's, he is definitely a fighter and, and that's what we do. We have the same mindset where it comes to that. Um, you know, we don't, we don't too much run from anything. Sometimes there's some uncertainty and uncertainty, uh, uncertainty makes you feel uncomfortable. You know, you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to have all of the steps figured out, but you do have to know where it is that you're going. That's what I call dropping your pin on the Google Maps of life. If you get in your car and you're going to Montana and you've never been to Montana, you don't put something in your GPS, how the hell are you going to get there? I'll wait. Okay, so <laughs> you've got to have a destination in order to get to where it is that you want to go. Number one. Uh, once you have that destination, be open to all the avenues that are going to come and fill in the blanks for how that's going to happen. You know what I mean? The way you thought it was going to happen may not be the way that it happens at all. It may be a new direction that you're going. You, you'll meet people out of the blue. And I would tell you, this happens to me all the time. Yes, being uncomfortable. Bobby says this. I, Bobby, I love you. I miss you, man. Like you need to come out to Cali and hang out, dude. Um, so being uncomfortable is is really a good thing. It's 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 God's way of telling you, hey, you're done where you're at. It's time to go forward. So when I tell people that I I'm feeling trapped or I am feeling a little smothered. I feel like this internal thing pushing me to go in another direction. That means that my purpose where I'm at is done and it's time for me to move. That's God nudging me, like thumping me in the back of the head. Hey, McFly, it's time to go. Come on, we're going to go over here. And he's shining the light on a path for me to go in that direction. So drop some comments, you know, with Callie Tammy, drop your favorite hearts, your favorite emoji, and let me know that you're getting some value out of this, this Facebook and IG live. So, um, but I, that's really what I want to talk about guys. It's like, stop. Like, who do you think you're talking to? You wouldn't let somebody talk to your kids 
with all that negative self-talk, you wouldn't allow your children to have that negative self-talk. Like if your kid come home and said, you know what? I hate me. I'm terrible. I don't even love me. I'm fat. I'm ugly. What are you going to say to your kids? Like, you're going to sit there and tell your kids, like, who do you think you're talking to? Like, stop that. Like, you don't know. And you would get down on their level and you would tell them, like, you do you know how much I love you? Do you know how much I appreciate you? Do you know how special you are? You would feed them with so much love, so much appreciation and build them up and become like this hurricane of winds up underneath their wings to lift them way up here. Do that for yourself. Quit beating yourself up with that negative self-talk. So one of the tools that I want to give you to help change that and swap that over. If you see, I got a, a rubber band right here. I just said, I am not perfect. I am human like everybody else. And sometimes I have these BS, um, BS thoughts go through my head. That right there. Pop it. Like, ah, that, wait, I need a new one. That one's not, that one's not tight enough. If you get that good rubber band, that's going to pop right there. And that hurts on the inside of that wrist. That's going to remind you, stop it. Go another direction. Um, you can also learn to what we call pivot those thoughts. Uh, pivoting takes some practice, especially if you've got a lot of negative emotion going on. You're not going to be able to get there from here. Uh, but if you have that reminder, hey, get off that negative superhighway, let me go over here. Uh, another tool that you can use is write down five things that you're grateful for. So you have all of those negative thoughts going on, all of the, that negativity going on. Write down five things that you're grateful for. Gratitude and negativity can't live in the same house. Okay? Gratitude and negativity cannot live in the same house. So you can flip that by going grateful. Um, just totally lost my train of thought. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, but like, they, like I said, those are a couple of tricks and tools that you can use to do that. So let me say goodbye to my IG guys and girls. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys next week. And that's all right. Now for my Facebook fam, this is all for you guys. Um, Thank you so much for joining me. This is Best Life Creation Society. I am your hostess with the hostess, Coach Callie Tammy, out here in beautiful San Diego, California. Uh, this is my weekly spot called Let's Talk About It. Uh, I love doing this. Um, I've got some really big things in the pipelines coming up, and I hope you guys will join me in those things coming. If you would like to know more about Best Life Creation Society, number one, go to www.bestlifecreationsociety.com. Check out our website. Check out our classes, courses. Uh, you can check out our coaches there and our special events that are coming up. We would love to have you. If you would like to know more information, drop a comment down in the comments and let me know. Say, hey, Callie Tammy, I want to know more and I will get back with you uh, as soon as I get off of here or as soon as I see that. If you are watching this on the replay, hit hashtag replay Callie Tammy. That way I know I can find you and I can get into those comments and I can respond to you personally. I would love to do that for you. Now, um, I have a book that's coming out. It is called Dear Victim. It's time for us to break up now. I am almost done with the proofreading process. It will be done here in the next week or so. Then it is on to copyright. And I've got somebody coming out and we're going to be doing my book cover photo. I have got the most epic mountain that I'm going to climb and get to the top of and take this epic photo uh, standing out on a cliff. Oh, I just cannot wait. I'm super excited about that. And uh, then once I do that, I hand it over to my graphic arts designer, get the book cover done, and I'll be start doing promotions. You guys will be one of the first ones to know when I've got, what I've got going on, what specials I'm going to run in, pre-launch, pre-sale, all that kind of good stuff. And of course, all my besties, all my best life folks will get a special discount code so they can uh, get the book ahead of time. So uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a part of Best Life Creation Society. Thank you so much for following me, Coach Gally Tammy, out here in beautiful San Diego, California, and coming out to talk to my Let's Talk About It. Uh, you can also listen to my podcast. Uh, it's on all the major 
all the major platforms, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify. It's called Life Awakening. I will drop a link uh, down, in the, down at the end of the comments so you can go check that out where I talk more in depth about this subject right here. Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, it is really an amazing uh, topic because you need to know who you're talking to. You are talking to you. You need to lift yourself up, build yourself up, and be the most amazing person that you can possibly be on the first, on the face of the planet because I know you're awesome and I love you just the way you are so uh with that I think that's all my bucket list things to to cover for today so I love you guys to the moon and back I hope you have the most amazing week and I will see you next week bye-bye now Mwah.